Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, digitalassetlife.com, a free site. Today is June the 2nd, 2021. Let's talk cryptocurrency, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Nothing I say in this video should be construed as being financial advice. I'm just telling you what's caught my attention right now, what I'm pursuing. I encourage everyone here to do their own financial research and to trust their own financial advisors. Now, let me just say, I'd rather make money than be right. I own some Ethereum. I'm not selling the Ethereum I own. But I don't believe Ethereum is Bitcoin. I don't think it's close. I don't think Bitcoin has uh, anything close to a real competitor. Um, although I will say in the store of value space, if you're willing to roll the dice and risk things on a centralized cryptocurrency, I think BNB is an interesting coin to look at. Uh, I own Bitcoin and BNB. But understand, Ethereum is not in the ballpark of Bitcoin. Bitcoin's a store of value, right? There's not going to be a Bitcoin 2.0, a Bitcoin 3.0, a Bitcoin 4.0. I understand there's Bitcoin SV and Bitcoin Cash who think they're Bitcoin 2.0 and 3.0. But there's really only one cryptocurrency that most institutionalized investors who are looking at cryptocurrency are interested in, and that's Bitcoin, right? Set it and forget it. Limited supply, no real competitors. You're not going to use it as a means of value, just like you're not going to take your gold coins to the 7-Eleven and try to buy a soda right this is to store wealth this is to keep the value of your wealth there simply put is no other coin in the crypto verse like bitcoin to me that's your best bet if you're looking for a store of value if you're looking for a means of exchange i personally like dash Dash shares a lot of the same traits that Bitcoin does. But the transaction speed of Dash is really unparalleled. Right? Unparalleled. Also understand, unlike Bitcoin, Dash has an investment arm. Dash is years ahead of everyone else in terms of governance, in my opinion. Dash has an investment arm. And Dash is going out there and investing in things like CrayPay, right? Some money changers that are confidential, even though Dash shouldn't be considered a privacy coin, right? Because Dash doesn't have the level of privacy of a Monero, right? Of a Horizon. Let me just point out, too, that if you want a Bitcoin-type coin with privacy features, then there's Monero. But you need to understand that the regulatory risk is much higher when it comes to a true privacy coin like Monero than with Bitcoin, where a governing body can actually look at the blockchain and figure out the transactions. You can't do that with Monero. Right? So I get the feeling that Bitcoin is much more ac acceptable to, let's say, the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service here in the United States, than a Monero, right? Monero is opaque. Just understand that. Ditto, Pirate Chain, ditto, Zcash, ditto, Horizon. Well, let's focus on Ethereum. I also want to focus on a gateway to the Binance Smart Chain. Now, let me just say, you cannot be celebrating Polygon, Cardano, Solana, 
and other Ethereum competitors while also celebrating Ethereum. In other words, Ethereum's hold on its own market is tenuous. You know that the minute you start paying gas fees for Ethereum transactions. Right, folks, the system is broken. That's why Polygon, which used to be called Matic, has gained the market share. Because people want access to the Ethereum ecosystem at lower prices than the system charges. So they're using Polygon. Right? Well, what I want people to realize is that Cardano is about to break big. By the end of August, they're going to have far more capability than they have right now. Right? Far more. When I say capability, I'm talking about smart contract capability. Right? The capability that ERC-20 tokens have only with far lower transaction costs. So I want people to think about the fact that Cardano's head honcho, Charles Hodgkinson, is openly saying that there are more than a hundred companies prepared to transition from the ERC-20 Ethereum world to the Cardano world, slightly different architecture. Right? So, as one Ethereum holder to many of you who no doubt hold Ethereum, just understand that the competition now is on the edge of the battlefield. A huge competitor for anyone paying attention is Binance Smart Chain. Now let me just say this, and I don't say it lightly. Understand, when you're in the public arena and you're kicking butt, you're going to get investigated. Right? Someone somewhere might sue you. That's the reality of being in the public arena economically. So, not surprisingly, Binance has done so well that they're under investigation by more than one group out there. Okay, fine. Understand, Binance is ahead of the curve. I was on Binance, the exchange, a while ago, and then they advised me, player, because you're from the United States, you're going to have to take your assets off of our exchange. But, and there was a but, just know that we'll be starting Binance.us and you can transfer some of your assets there. I say some because, of course, we're in the regulatory fortress that is the United States where regulators know better than ordinary citizens like me. So some regulators someplace decided that they were going to restrict the trading of certain cryptocurrencies in the United States because me, an adult, couldn't make those decisions by myself. And these cryptocurrencies supposedly are too dangerous for me to trade on my own. Right? Well, let's just say, understand, Binance, unlike many exchanges, has been conscious of the regulatory environment from early. So they, of course, have exchanges in different countries. I can tell you the Binance.us exchange had a stringent Know Your Consumer protocol that I had to go through to become a Binance.us customer. So since the exchange itself, the brand has always been cognizant of regulatory requirements, I'm not too worried about them being investigated. Well, here's what you need to know. 
Binance Smart Chain has pretty much copied the capabilities that Ethereum has. Right? Understand, in the world of cryptocurrency, a lot of things are open source. People can literally come and copy what in the real world would be viewed as a trade secret that you have. And then open up shop across the street from your setup with just a few tweaks and call themselves another company. So understand, Binance Smart Chain allows you to do many of the things, I'd say most of the things, that you could do on Ethereum's blockchain at a fraction of the price. So, the big question is, how can I have access to Binance Smart Chain? So I could save money on transaction fees. So I can take advantage of some of the coins on Binance Smart Chain. And the answer is with the Trust Wallet. You can get it on Google Store, right? Google Play Store. You can find out more about it by just going to trustwallet, one word, dot com. Well, let me just tell you, folks, in just doing research on crypto, I decided, okay, look, let me download Trust Wallet. I have a few wallets, like many of you, on my phone. So I said, let me just download Trust Wallet. Let me see what it has to offer, because I understood that pancake swap, right? Binance's swap program that operates on the Binance smart chain was reaching a volume on par with Uniswap on some days. So I understood a lot of business was being conducted on Binance smart chain, that this platform was exploding. So, of course, I download Trust Wallet. They give you the option to stake some coins. I had some BNB coins. I thought, you know what? This is Binance's official wallet. Why don't I stake some Binance coin on the official wallet? Folks, it was easy. So then, of course, I notice a button. A DAPS button. So I hit the button, and of course, let me just tell you, this is one of those better than advertised moments in crypto. I hit the button, and voila, there it is. I have access to Pancake Swap. Not only that, I have access to Venus. I encourage everyone to go to Venus.io, which is a lending platform. Right? Not only that, I have access to Sushi Swap. I'm just going to hold it up to the camera. Well, maybe this virtual background is not going to allow me to do that. Right? But just to understand, Beefy Finance, the dApps are right there. One button away in Trust Wallet. In other words, this wallet literally opens the door. This wallet that you can get on Google Play Store, right, that you can download on the Apple App Store, right? The links are available at trustwallet.com. 